What are the three stages of memory? The first stage of memory is sensory memory. This is literally just your brain processing the sensory information around you, and your brain holds on to it for a very brief period of time. The next stage of memory is short-term or working memory. This is the stage where we manipulate or work with information. The last stage of memory is long-term memory. This is where we store information for extended periods of time that we may need in the future. In terms of the flow of memory, sensory memories flow through to working or short-term memory if you pay attention. So imagine sitting in class, the teacher or professor is speaking, and sometimes that information makes it into your short-term or working memory where it can be manipulated and thought about, but other times when you're not paying attention, you don't even hear what the professor is saying. Now, from short-term or working memory, if something's deemed important, we use rehearsal or practice to attempt to push this to long-term memory. Everyone has done the game where they say someone's phone number over and over again or first name in an attempt to remember it, and this is rehearsal. And just as everyone has practiced a sports skill repeatedly to attempt to build a long-term memory. And the final stage of flow here is what we call recall. This is when we try to bring long-term memories out so that we can use them. This is when you're on the sports field and you try to remember how to kick a ball well, or when you're sitting in an exam situation and you're trying to remember the answer to this very question.